Hello, I am Donald Mason Jr., currently a senior at Hansburg College Prep, and my black is my success. Hey, my name is Anaya Weldon, and I am Morgan Jr. at Hansburg College Prep. To me, black history reminds me how we learn about our civil rights leaders who risked their lives for ours to be free and equal as everyone else. Hello, my name is Mr. Alexander, and my black is multifaceted. Oh, my name is Imani. You want to call them dreads or locks? It is like a name for your, I mean, it's the original called locks, but it don't matter to me. Okay, so the first question is, what made you get dreadlocks? It was something different, so I kept asking my mama. My mama said no. So my grandma, she got tired of me asking my mama, so my grandma finally said, I'm going to pay for her to get them. Have you ever been perceived or treated in a certain way because you have dreads? And if you have been treated differently because of your dreads, can you tell me how? Oh yeah, they keep thinking I'm a boy when I'm not a boy. And I'm like, they were like, oh, your brother killed my, I'm not, I'm not. That upset you? Hmm? That upset you? Me, I mean, I'm used to it and I'm not a boy. Okay. What you like best about having your dreads? Um, you can style your dreads any, like any type of style you want. So it's like, you want to have it the same. Like you different for everybody else, basically. All right. Okay. My name is Earl. I'm a freshman, and Black History Month means uh, like civilization. Hello, I'm Samantha Lewis. I'm a senior, and Black History Month means to me empowerment towards my community. My name is Marshawn. I'm a freshman. My Black is beautiful. Why did you decide to get locks? Um, originally, I wore my hair down all the time. I was known as the girl with the like really nice blowout, had it all feathered and done up. Um, but eventually I started to just get tired of wearing my hair the exact same way all the time. And then on top of that, I used to sweat out because I played basketball in high school and in college. So two and a half years ago, um, I decided that I was like finally going to lock my hair and I love locks so much, but like it was so scary to actually make the decision. But um, I eventually did it. Uh, I did it um, June of 2014 and um, I feel like it was the best decision that I've ever made in my life and I love them. Um, it definitely has been a journey, but like I'm, I'm glad I'm taking this journey right now. It's probably like the best decision I've made on my own. And do you feel like people perceive you differently for having locks? Um, I feel like it depends on who the person is. I do know that um, people are perceived differently when they do have locks, especially like depending on like your career choice or um, where you. Um, where you are, what community you're in, anywhere. So sometimes I go into a grocery store and like people love them. But um, depending on where I'm at, some people stare at me and they don't say anything at all. So um, they may perceive me, to, but I've never gotten any like negative comments or anything like that. So um, again, like, you know, this is the best decision that I've ever made in my life. And so I'm super confident when it comes to wearing my locks. Anything else you'd like to share about your locks? Uh, I love the fact that I did make a decision because I do know this is one of the decisions that I made on my own with so many people telling me not to do it. Um, one reason being they really loved my hair before I decided to lock it. Um, the other reason being um, people like uh, rapper Chief Keef uh, was part of the reasons why people told me not to do it. They did not want people to perceive me um, differently. Uh, but um, I, I decided to keep doing it and this taught me like so much like patience and like determination um, that if this is something that I truly want to do then I need to continue doing it and I'm super happy that I'm taking this journey right now. Hello, my name is Ursula Sanders. I'm a sophomore and what Black Hair 3 Month means to me is recognizing all the men and women that have made it possible for me to be free but also realizing that there's a long way to go. Thank you, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Hello, my name is Faye and I'm a junior at Penn Ferry and what Black History reminds me to me is to always remember your culture and history and the people that has made us where we are today. Thank you, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, and Barack Obama.
Carlos. My name is Marcelo Freeman. I'm a junior. To me, Black History Month means African American youth learning about their culture and what their ancestors went through in the past. Hi, my name is Devaye Dean. I'm a Miss Board Advisor. First question is, what made you get your dreads? I was coming up, you feel me? I saw Lil Wayne on the stage. He had his dreads, you feel me? So I said, grow my dreads. I just grew mad up. Eighth grade. Okay. Have you ever been looked at or perceived a certain way because you have dreads? And if you have, can you tell us the incident? When you yeah, have? yeah. People tried to jump me, you feel me? Because I was taking eight girls at the parties. Because I had, you feel me? I got dreads, you feel me? But yeah, people be like, if I go to a school, they'll think I'm a game bag because I got dreads or whatever. But I don't care what they think. It's me. Hi, my name is Akili Wilson. I am a sophomore. And to me, black is. Black is beautiful because we come in so many different shades and shapes and colors. Hello, my name is Antoine. I'm a freshman and Black History Month means a lot to me. My name is Kevin Berry. I am an 11th grader in Rosario Barnes Advisory. My Black is powerful. My Black is influential. My Black is beautiful. Being Black to me is labeled with so many beautiful traits as well as negative traits but then we have to find ways to overpower those negative ones to show our beautiful ones and that is what I am attempting to do throughout my life. Hi, my name is Allison. Why did you decide to get your locks? Um, I decided to get my locks because I was tired of getting my hair done every month and it costs too much money and it's easy to maintain. I could, once I got them started, I could have just I, after I knew how to do them on my own, I just started doing them on my own, so that's one reason. What do you like best about having your locks? I could do different styles, like I could wear it down, I don't necessarily have to, and I don't have to get my hair done every every month. Um, yeah, I can wear different styles, and it's easy to maintain, easy, ma easy, easy ma maintenance. Okay. And have you ever been treated or perceived differently because you have locks? And if you have, can you explain a, a time when you got perceived differently? No, I haven't. Maybe because I'm a female, um, we get perceived as different, but no, nah, like I really haven't. Huh? Like how? Like, say for instance, a, a male that locks, they would be perceived as like a or something. I don't know. But it's just different because I'm a female and like I don't know. I just I've never gotten like a bad like experience with people who have problems with me having locks. Like it's always like, oh your locks are gorgeous or they're so thick and stuff like that. My name is Dear Lewis Mayfield. I'm a junior. My black is eccentric, sensational, phenomenal. Hi. I am Felicia Rudo and I am a junior. My black is beautiful and my black is intelligent. My name is Sharina Dixon. I'm an 11th grader here at Hansberry and my black is strong and powerful. My name is Darian Warren and I'm in Miss Little Park. The first question is, what made you get dreads? Um, I want to grow my hair out because I didn't like having haircuts and stuff, so. Okay. I just decided mm -hmm. to get it, have a new look. What do you like best about church Uh, I don't know, maybe it just look right on me so I could do anything with it. Like have different hairstyles. Okay, have you ever been looked at or perceived a certain way because you have dreads? And if you have, can you tell us the incident why? Uh, yeah, because now it's a lot of people in Chicago with dreads, so they look at me like, like I'm a, um, a bad person sometimes because it's be a lot of people outside of school that does bad things and them people be having dreads so they look at me. My name is Carol Tucker and I'm a sophomore at Henry Berry. Yeah, my black is amazing. My name is Ryan Bethy. I'm in the class of 2017. Black is beautiful. Since Mr. Alexander put me on the spot, my black is fine. Why I like to call my hair uh, locks and not uh, call my hair dreadlocks. Um, for one, there's nothing dreadful about my hair, so um, I consider my hair as locked because when I decided to lock my hair, I was embracing um, my natural hair. Um, some cultures are actually offended by the term dreadlock, and I'm not necessarily offended by it, but uh, I do know the Afrocentric uh, descent, they actually do uh, get offended by that. 
as opposed to the Jamaicans, they actually think that uh, calling them dreadlocks is a way to show respect. So I choose locks because there's nothing dreadful about my hair. My name is Miss Williams. I teach IB History of the Americas, 11th and 12th grade, and my black is original. My name is Miss Witcher. I teach 9th grade English, and my black is relentless. Okay, so my name is Infinity Chambers. I'm a senior, and to me, black is beautiful, powerful, and spiritual. My name is Kevin, and I'm a right now. Okay, Kevin, um, what made you good dreads? Uh, I got dreads because I just like having long hair. I just like, I got it because I started when I was eight, and I just kept it. Okay, um, what do you like best about having your dreads? Uh, I just like to have long hair. I like to have long hair. I just got it to have long hair. Um, have you ever been looked at for seeds a certain way because you have dreads? And if you have, can you tell us when? Uh, yeah, mostly about police. Like if I walk a certain way or like my pants or my hands the same way around my body. Like they accuse me of doing something. Okay. I'm like it. Hi, I'm Mr. Keste, and my black is defying stereotypes about what it means to be an African queen and showing others the complexities of our intelligence and our beauty. My name is Deshaun Armstrong, and I'm a senior. And to me, black means finding the strength to overcome the obstacles in a country that wasn't meant to serve you in the first place. Hi, my name is Ms. Barnes, and I teach 10th grade geometry. Black is my purpose. My black defines me.